Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at co-integration with financial data. Let's get started. So we're going to be looking at some FANG stocks today. Now, again, the acronym doesn't necessarily represent FANG anymore, but we're going to be looking at Meta or Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Alphabet or Google. Okay, so again, we're going to make sure and install Y Finance. Uh, we're also going to import Pandas as PD, import Y Finance as YF, and as we go along, we'll also go on and import some other things that we may need. Uh, and you know what, since we're going to go on, and I know we're going to do co-integration, let's also go on and import in here from statsmodels.time series analysis vector AR dot VECM. We're going to import the co int Johansson. Okay. And uh, we're just going to be doing this. So uh, usually we would do this um, in league with like maybe a Granger causality test as well as a vector auto regression. But today we're only going to be looking at. Uh, just the co-integration formula uh, for this. So let's go on then and get back to grabbing our data. So let's see what we want. We want to grab in here, uh, let's say our tickers here are going to be Facebook. We want Amazon. We want Apple. We want Netflix, we want Alphabet. So that gives us one, two, three, four, five variables here. And then let's go on and grab that data. We're just going to grab all of it for now. And then we'll take a look here. And um, we know that we're going to want to subset our data with the adjusted close while this is running. And we're going to drop NAs as well. Now once that's done, let's go on and take a look at our data. So uh, let's do df.head. And we see here that we have, again, we have all of our variables. They look nice. Now we go from 2012 to, let's say, df all the way to uh, today so the happy new year I guess to everyone so 2021 and we're gonna go on and actually let's just do a visualization so we can see if this maybe looks a little bit co-integrated again we can just see if they kind of move in the same way or whatnot so let's do uh, subplots is true Oops, and I'll rerun that. And we can see here that everything has a tendency to move together. Okay, we're not, again, this is a relatively long time series. So we see everything that's kind of moving together in this upward trend, whether they're co-integrated or not, we shall see. Now, uh, we could do, uh, usually at this point, I would do a Granger causation, but I'm going to go on and forego and skip that right now just so that we can save a little bit of time and work on our co-integration. So maybe we need to say here, what is co-integration, okay? So a co-integration test helps us to establish the presence of statistically significant connection between two or more time series, okay? Now, what does this actually mean for us? All right, well, uh, to understand that, we need to kind of understand what the order of integration is, so of D, and uh, there's going to be a little bit of math involved in that. So we're not going to actually go about that, uh, at least today, okay? I'll be making some videos in the next couple months here that we talk about the mathematical concepts behind all of this. But for today, we're just going to run the co-integration test, okay? So again, we're using stat models. So I'll go up here. You can see here, again, it's from stat models, time series analysis, uh, vector, autoregression, VECM, and then we're going to grab the co-integration Johansson. Uh, so now let's go on and we could kind of just run this in a nice 
way here, but I feel like it's best to actually run and create a nice formula for us. So let's create a formula here. So let's just call it uh, coint test. And it's gonna take in a data frame and it's going to give us, we'll have ourselves an alpha coefficient here of 0 0.05. And then we're going to, um, actually in here, let's actually make a bit of a note. Okay, and this is uh, co-integration uh, test and report. Okay, because again, we want this to kind of look a little bit nice because again, I guess most of you guys are wanting to print out a nice analysis for this. So we'll have some out here, which again will be our uh, co-integration, whoops. Johansson, uh, and then we'll take the data frame. It'll be um, our determinant order here is going to be negative one. And then our uh, K difference here will be uh, five, okay? So now our D here. Um, so I'm gonna create up a dictionary here and we want 0 0.90, okay? And this would be zero. Then we want 0. Uh, nine five. This will be one, and we want zero point nine nine here, and this will be two. So again, here we're actually creating up a nice dictionary for our uh, levels. So let's go on and create some traces, and so this would be here equal to an out dot l r one. Okay. And then let's go on and create our counts. So let's do out.cvt here, such that D, and then we want the string here of one minus our alpha. Okay, and we set that alpha uh, standardized to be 0 0.5. Then let's do a quick um, sub function in here. So def, we want to make some adjustment. Uh, and let's say, and actually let's call this just adjust in here. And then we want a volume, a value here. A length is equal to six. Uh, and then let's say in here that we want to return some string of the value dot left adjust the length. Okay, and this is gonna uh, allow us to make a nice uh, adjustments to the size and shape of everything. So then the next part in here is we, you guys can do this all a little bit differently, but we're going to actually have a nice print uh, function here. <clears throat> and we would have maybe the name and let's give it a tab in here. Um, and I'm gonna make two pipe operators, um, maybe another tab, test stat is greater than here of, let's say our 95, 95% confidence. Okay, um, I'm gonna put in another tab in there and is, going to imply the significance um, in here. So then, and also here, we want to put in um, some lines here. So let's do multiply by 20. I think that'll make it nice and long for us. Now, the next part that we want in here is to loop over each column trace uh, and uh, and grab and actually put everything into a nice kind of test statistic here. Okay, so for our report, so for column, trace, CVT, and zip, we want our data frame dot columns. So it'll be for each, um, each stock. We'll grab the traces. And then, whoa. 
and then let's go on and print here our adjust okay for the column and then I want in here two pipe operators uh, and I need I had a space here see the space okay so I'm gonna need a space there we want adjust again to round the trace to two and then we want this adjusted by nine. And then let's have, we want a greater than symbol here. We do not want any pluses in there. And I'm going to have another adjust in here and we want for CVT and then we want this to be eight. And we want this to line up uh, with an equivalence sign here. So, and again, we could have maybe put in some LaTeX in here uh, if you want this to have a nice output or something as well. But uh, again, I'm just having this print out so they would print in um, kind of uh, any anyone's uh, computer again, unless just depends on what you want. And so then we need to also then compare uh, to our critical value and our trace here. So then we actually have our results. And so let's run this and see if anything issue popped out here. Okay, so that ran fine. Now let's actually run this and uh, test it out. So we have our, oh, that's not what I want. What did we name this? Coint test. And then we want in here our data frame. And then I'm going to just leave the alpha there. Let's run this and give it a second. And then now we actually have a relatively nice data set. So maybe, maybe we need to do, we'll do a little bit of adjusting here. But, it's, but it looks pretty decent. Uh, so what we see here is that we have our Apple stock and let's see, it's basically telling us, is there gonna be any co-integration in here, okay? Well, we have one true, all right? But then the rest are going to be false, all right? So this, uh, again, this is, this is just a quick uh, overview and a quick tutorial on how to run a co-integration test with uh, Python and stat models. If you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.